Next, let's see how static test is conducted on IGBT. IGBTs are placed on the output of the FC automation drive. Now, let's see the procedure to conduct the static test on IGBT in order to test the first set of IGBTs. Connect the positive terminal of the meter lead to the positive DC bus. Connect the negative terminal of the multimeter lead to the motor terminal U. V. W. In turn, the multimeter should show the diode open. Now, reverse the meter leads. That is, connect the negative terminal of the meter lead to the positive DC bus. Connect the positive terminal of the meter lead to the motor terminals U. V. W. In turn, the multimeter should show the diode drop of around 0.4 volt on the three terminals. Now, repeat the procedure by connecting to the negative DC bus in order to test the second set of IGBTs. Connect the negative terminal of the multimeter lead to the negative DC bus. Connect the positive terminal of the multimeter lead to the motor terminals U. V. W. In turn, the multimeter should show the diode open. Now, reverse the meter leads. That is, connect the positive terminal of the meter lead to the negative DC bus. Connect the negative terminal of the meter lead to the motor terminals U. V. W. In turn, the multimeter should show diode drop around 0.4 volt. With this, we come to the end of static test. Hope you find easy in performing these tests while you diagnose any problem in the FC automation drive. In this section, we are going to see how dynamic test is conducted. Dynamic test are conducted with the power applied to FC automation drive. Dynamic test have to be done without motor connected to UVW connector and FC automation drive have to be programmed to a proxy 50 Hz on start. The dynamic test can indicate if one of the IGBT doesn't switch and the output voltage will drop on the fall terminal UVW. Before conducting the dynamic test, let me give you a quick tip. Never disconnect the input cabling to the FC automation drive with the power applied due to danger of severe injury or death. Take all the necessary safety precautions for system startup prior to applying power to the FC automation drive. Let's now see how to conduct the dynamic test on IGBT. The idea behind the dynamic test is to check the IGBT. Dynamic test on the IGBT should be done without the motor connected to the drive. Program the drive to 50 Hz and start the drive. Program the multimeter to AC 1000 volts. Now, let me list you out the procedure to conduct the dynamic test on IGBT. Connect the positive terminal of the multimeter lead to the U terminal and connect the negative terminal to the V terminal. Connect the positive terminal of the multimeter lead to the U terminal and connect the negative terminal to the W terminal. Connect the positive terminal of the multimeter lead to the V terminal and connect the negative terminal to the W terminal. The meter reading will be 450 volts plus or minus 25 volts 
when performing the dynamic test, at 400 volts mains, and 50 Hz, per 1500 RPM output, depending on, instrument used. The reading should be, within, plus or minus 1.5%. When the reading exceeds, plus or minus 1.5%, the IGBT would be damaged, and needs to be changed. With this, we have come to the end, of this module. I hope, you would have got, a good feeling on, how to conduct the static, and dynamic test, on FC Automation Drive.